I was riding along being a baby, and all of a sudden, whoosh, somebody comes by me, and all I heard was, Turner, bleep, 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 hit the boop. <laughs> <laughs> it was coming from her. She was smoking me. And uh, so that I said at that point, I said, I think I, I found a new friend. <laughs> so, All right, hello, everybody. Bob Turner. We're back over here at H2O Fitness and for another episode of the Ordinary People Doing Extraordinary Things podcast. Mitchell, we got to change the name here at some point. It's too much of a mouthful. <laughs> we've got Stacy Simino with us today, and Stacy's a dear friend of mine. I've, I don't know how long we've known each other. It's got to be 15-plus years now. Um, it was back in 2012, Stacy said, hey, you should come to Arizona with us and ride bikes. And I said, sounds like a good time. So we went out there, and, and we rode up Mount Lemmon and a bunch of other places, and uh, so began my several year repeat trips to, to Arizona and brought a bunch of triathletes out there. So it's kind of funny how one interaction can cause a, uh, a domino effect of so many people being affected by you just being kind enough to say, hey, come to Arizona with us. Um, we've become great friends. Um, uh, one of the things that I like about Stacy is she just, she calls me on my shit. She's, <laughs> I remember one time we were, I didn't tell I was gonna talk about this. We were in a triathlon and, uh, uh, I Kenny this. Bunk, uh, West I... Kenny Bunk, right? And I don't know why I was so, I was having a rough day. It must have been I did something really cool the week before, but um, I was riding along being a baby and all of a sudden, whoosh, somebody comes by me and all I heard was, Turner, bleep, 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 hit the boop. <laughs> <laughs> it was coming from her. She was smoking me. And uh, so that I said at that point, I said, I think I, I found a new friend. <laughs> so, But uh, we've been thick as thieves ever since. Um, going through a lot, raising families and going through life together and training and being injured and having bad back and For all sure. kinds of stuff. So um, Stacy is a, uh, a personal trainer, mm -hmm. does a lot here at H2O Fitness, and she's a, a nutrition coach as well. That's right. And so I'm going to let her tell you a little bit about herself, and uh, then we're going to get into some of her thoughts on diet, exercise, and all kinds of fun things that we like to talk about here on this podcast. And and wherever it goes, we'll, we'll go. So, Sounds good. welcome. Thanks for thanks for being on. Thank you so much for having me. I'm honored. Um, the ordinary people part felt really good. <laughs> that was sort of settled me down a little bit. Um, I'm a mom. I have two boys, a sophomore in high school, um, who's a basketball player, and a sophomore in college. So that's kind of keeps me busy. Um, do working here at H2O during personal training, nutrition coaching. My best friend Erin owns this. Um, it's an amazing, absolutely amazing place. Um, they're doing great work. Really a holistic approach of trying to pull a lot of different people together to help people to, to maximize their health and Look at it, it's really kind like of a, figure it like out. A, like a whole wellness place. That's really, right. You know? That's, that is absolutely her mission is to really educate people and build a really solid community. So it's been a great place um, to work and to learn and to have the opportunity to to spend time here it's, you know it's I always cool. think yeah. about the you know the people you surround yourself with and right. it's just such a high high energy um, high level of education and learning crew that it kind of helps you to yeah to want to pick your game up a little bit and she's a, she's in, is in year two now or is she in... yeah just finished out year one yep so starting yep. year two doing great so there's some new stuff going on here too, right? She mentioned to us before. Yeah, she, she did. She their hope the goal for the spring they're going to open up the outside and okay. put a bunch of equipment out there. They're hiring a couple new physical therapists. Mm -hmm. um, they, the acupuncture and uh, is is going great. The Pilates they just put in that infrared yep. sauna. People are absolutely loving that as well. well. It was funny. One of the things we were talking about. Erin was here earlier and left, but we and she wanted us to make sure we mentioned that you know just kind of. One of the things that they do here is help guide people through their yeah, wellness journey, if you will. And I know, just on the personal side, I know, you know, my mom just went through having a hip replacement, and I can remember saying, "Hey, you know, did the doc call?" Well, nobody called yet, and I so I would always say, "Hey, yeah, you got to call." And you know, so it doesn't seem like today in medicine, whether there's people that maybe they're short staffed or uh, everybody's just reeling from COVID or whatever, but um, you have to kind of almost advocate for yourself and so talk a little bit about that I mean have you seen some of that yeah absolutely and I, I think that's something that they really do an outstanding job of here Erin really acts as a liaison as well as all the therapists mm -hmm. here the whole crew and I think that it's really helping people to get better 
care in general. Not just a PT place. Not just a PT place at all. They know the questions to ask. Um, They're getting great recommendations for doctors. They're getting great recommendations for acupuncture and all sorts of modalities. And um, it's kind of uh, a bringing the, like a hive, you know, bringing all of the the great people together. How does it go with the swim spa? Is that busy? Swim spa is really busy. People use it for the treadmill. They use it for PT. They use it for actual swim training. There's a treadmill in there also. So it's a great rehab. That's great cool. way to rehab. So you getting back to you, you train people here one on one. I do. I train one on one and um, some small group training as well. The pe- we've just shifted that over a little bit yep. to making you kind of have to come in with your buddies so you're both on the same page. Gotcha. Um, and that's been working out great. The small group is is a really nice way to do it as well. You've got a little camaraderie there. Um, we just, they do a little bit of screening at the front just to make sure that that, this, the small group or the two people or three are going to be a, a really good fit. So everyone's really kind of getting so the most out of it. You're working out all day. Well, I'm Wondering just, I'm assisting. I'm not actually. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> Maybe that's what I need to do. Just work yes. out all day long. <laughs> oh, man. So how long have you been a personal trainer? Oh, my gosh. I think when I was in college, I, a hundred years ago in college. I was going to the gym and they had a sign up for people to teach aerobics. Now yep. I am 48 and they were going to give me a free gym membership and pay me like $15. That's pretty and money. So I thought I couldn't believe everyone didn't want to do that right. at the time. <laughs> and I started teaching aerobics in college and then yep. after college I um, moved into some personal training yep. and started doing that and I've been doing that really on and off ever since then and always been a part of your life always been a part yep yep so what what else do you do for work i also work for a small biotech company in westbrook Mm -hmm. um the name of the company is virostat it's i absolutely love it we make um, antibodies for human infectious diseases so it's been you guys started covid then we started covid and we're solving covid (laughs) and it has kept us really busy for the last couple of years (laughs) well that's good how long you been doing that i about six six years. No kidding. Yeah. No, it's yep. good. I've been there. It's an absolutely great company. Yeah. And um, yeah, I, I love working there as well. I feel really lucky on on kind of both ends of the of the, of the health spectrum here. Yeah. So every once in a while, when you have spare time, what do you do? Let's see. When I have spare time, what do I do? I attend a ton of basketball games. Um, I absolutely love CrossFit. So I yeah. started up with CrossFit about five years ago, kind yeah. of in earnest. The tiniest little gym up in Yarmouth. We started in this little garage with this absolutely great community of people. And um, that is what has kept me going there and what yeah. has made it. I'm kind of part of the 5.30 a.m. crew. It's the same group of girls. Um, just they're they're awesome. And uh, so You knock it out early in the day. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. There's been nothing. That is, my, that is my window of time. Yeah. There is no talking to anybody else. It is coffee and head off. Offer that workout. I was talking about a guy talking to a guy this morning. I was out doing my long walk, and and he called me, and we were chatting, and a buddy of mine, and and uh, he said, "Yeah, I just got up." I said, "What do you mean you just got up?" He said, "I get up, I put my shoes on, I go out the door." I said, That's, "Oh no way." There's no thinking. You cannot think. Yeah. You just <laughs> you just got to roll out. Like at least one cup of coffee. He says, "Nope, got no time for oh, that." Oh no no no! Absolutely, there is a <laughs> cup of coffee in there. Yeah. Well, you and I. I mean, so. We've done it. We've had a lot of diet conversations, you know. Yes. We were out here one day talking, and, and I, you know, she started going on about fats and proteins, and, and I said, save that. I want the, I want you to talk about that on the podcast. But you're you're what I've seen you when I've seen you the most passionate mm-hmm. is when you've been talking about that. I mean, I'll see her. <laughs> okay, one funny story. We were on a plane once going to oh, Arizona, God. Right? <laughs> and I'm like, I smelled something. It was an orange, I think, and then. <laughs> And I look over, and Stacy's two rows ahead, in, in the by the window. And I look, I look over, and she's got a whole chicken. <laughs> I <laughs> absolutely know. <laughs> Throw the whole chicken out of her backpack on the plane. I know. My kids are like, she's always got a meat stick in there. Like. <laughs> <laughs> so she eats right all the time. Um, so she's doing, she's doing it right. But we have a lot of conversations about that, and and uh, that's when I've seen you most passionate. Getting back to that, um, you know what. If you could say, you know, if you had the floor here to, to tell the world, so to speak, about nutrition and either how to get going or what to eat, there's all, every, there's, yeah, there's paleo, there's, you know, there used to be the Atkins diet, there's, um, 
you know, uh, you know, low carb, high fat, there's, you name it, you know, yeah. sugar free, there's, you know, intermittent fasting, yes. you know, all of that stuff. And so people hear a ton of stuff and nobody really knows what to do. Not to mention everybody wants the magic pill, right? That's right. Uh, you know, how do I get skinny? Make it happen like, fast. Yeah, I want to get overnight. It took me five years to get this way. <laughs> I'd like it overnight, please. So what would you say about that? You know, like what is the biggest thing on your mind with regard to nutrition, I guess, is the question. Let's see. I am going to back up a little bit. As I, when I started out in all of this, it was exercise. Like, right. you know, it was like college and through that, that I really thought that that was sort of the road to health. Yeah. And then time went on and we did Iron Man and right. injuries started to happen and yep. hormones started to shift and it just, yeah. my brain wasn't feeling as great, my joints weren't feeling so great and so I decided to go back to school for nutrition. Um, I went to school in, in Connecticut and did a couple year program, a nutritional therapy yep. practitioner program mm -hmm. and that is really whole foods based. Yeah. Um, so I, I shifted a bit from the exercise to thinking to the nutrition mm -hmm. and realized that that nutrition is tremendously foundational to everybody's health. Right. If that's not in place, the motivation to exercise, you know, it's, it's really oh, yeah. becomes, becomes a cycle, a vicious right. cycle. Well, if you don't feel like working out, you don't work out. And if you don't work out, you don't feel like working out. That's right. And it just, it goes... Yeah, and so so where that so I had the exercise piece, and then I moved really heavy into the nutrition piece, and then all of a sudden I thought, wow, actually I think sleep <laughs> is yeah. is kind of the solution. So it's it's really multifaceted. You yeah. know, you, you really need to have all of the pieces in place to to see that see that trajectory change mm. and see people get really good outcomes out of it. But and it changes too because you know you're said forty eight out yes. of fifty. It does and, uh, change. You know, I need more sleep, but I don't like. I think you know, sleep's a big waste of time. In oh, my book, right? sleep is sleep is your magic bullet. That <laughs> but, is the secret. So, actually. don't you know I've been going to bed at eight o'clock? I did see that. And you know, imagine this: I've had more energy. Yes, you know, it's amazing. I can't you have more it. energy. You're not exhausted. You're not reaching yeah. for the Dunkin' Donuts. You're right. better than able to make better food choices. Better at everything, and, and I'm getting a little bit of time in the morning for my you know my reading and the things that I want to do and kind of. Stuff set, to take care of your mind, your brain, and day. your body, all of it. Because I've had that brain fog too, where you're like, you know, I mean, it's no joke. You walk into a room, you're like, I don't, not only do I not un remember why I went in there, you're I like, am remember, I getting dementia? What's happening? I can't remember what I had for lunch, you know? Yes. And, and it's, so there's something to that. Yeah. So they say that you can't out exercise a bad diet. That's right? correct. You know? They also say that it's... I think when you're 20, you know, that's a... that's a. You can do it. Yeah. It's possible. Yeah. I think as we're it. getting into this, like, 50s decade, it's... Yeah. We're kind of looking for health span and lifespan and longevity, and we want clear brains, and we want low inflammation. Right. And you and I want to play really hard, as right. does everybody else sure. who's still here. We're, like, yeah. not out of the... Out of the climbing mountains and right. and still going to do to, some things. We still want to do some really big yeah. things. Yeah, they you know they say I've heard it said that it's people think that it's eighty percent gym, twenty percent diet, and it's really eighty percent diet nutrition, twenty percent gym. Because I've I've had some people I've talked to them like, D dude, if you just didn't do these three things, don't even go to the gym yet. Oh my God, if people, honestly, I read a study recently, off. if you simply removed highly processed foods from your diet, change nothing else. Mm -hmm. I, I, I can't remember the statistic, I didn't yeah. even think this was gonna come up, but it was, people were dropping so much weight from simply saying stop eating highly processed foods. Yeah. And not even processed foods, just like the bag of Doritos. Get yeah. rid of that stuff. Right. Yeah. Start there. So, guys, we're not talking about high-level stuff no. here. No. Like, you know, Drink Stacey's, a little more yeah. water. Get some more sleep. Get rid of the highly processed food. Move a little bit. It's going to really... Go for a walk. Yeah. Big turns of the dial on that. Yeah. A lot of people, uh, you know, myself included, I'm impatient when I yes. decide, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> to turn, turn this around. Go, you know, work out hard, eat right for two days, hop on the scale. Damn. Then he, or it went up. You know? It's possible. It could go up. Right. You could be still losing this fat and bullshit. weight and all of this stuff. And it's, it's, that's not I want to a... talk to a manager. <laughs> I want my money back on that. Right. And they say, well, weigh yourself once a week. Or no more than once a week. And I say, okay, well, I weigh myself every morning. You know, 
That's a good. The people have huge yeah. success. That that does really help from veering too far off the path. Sure. Yeah. You start to see that inching in one yeah. direction, and it and it yeah. absolutely helps to bring that back a little bit more. There's yeah. great research yeah. in um, people having success with that. Well, I mean, we've talked about making changes. Like, what if somebody's you know watching this going, ah, I don't know, you know, I've always been big. Or, nah, you know, I just, I don't know if I'd really want to change what I'm eating, but I'd like to feel better. I mean, how do you get somebody, like, off zero? How do you get them moving? How, is it a mindset thing? Is it, Oh, yeah, you know, it's like, absolutely, you of all people, you know, it right. is absolutely yeah. a mindset thing. You do have to want to make the change. Right. There has to be some of that. And yeah. then there's the coaching and the guidance that I, I love that part. I, yeah. I love helping people kind of on a higher level put all of those pieces together. The whole package. The whole package. Yeah. The nutrition part, the sleeping, the the movement part of it. Um, and it's really, it's baby steps. It's that yeah. atomic habits. It's like the 1%. Yep. Um, 1% of choices in a positive direction is Every is day. so high versus that 1% in the opposite. It's, right. it's really <clears throat> amazing. The difference that that can make you know you wake up in the morning and you're like what would a healthy person do put my shoes on and go for a walk and right. and yeah. then that leads it's, quite possibly to i just took the walk i think i'm going to go with the eggs for breakfast this morning as now opposed you're to invested the, you're invested yeah. and it's it's just building on all of those yeah those tiny it's tiny habits that in the end really they add up give like it's, it's remarkable stack them, stack, stack them, remarkable stuff. results from tiny habits so get back to the nutrition coaching. Like that's yes. something that you're doing or going to be doing. That's something. Um, yeah. Talk about that for a minute. So that's something that I'm doing. I sort of under wraps a little bit. Just accepted. It's not going to be now. <laughs> <laughs> I sh am going to be doing a ton of learning with First Form right now. They're okay. uh, an absolutely amazing company. They do it. Mm -hmm. Tremendous amount of educating. Is there a supplement company? They do. They do supplements. They do. Uh, it's really lifestyle. Their their main goal is educating. Okay. And and I've really just kind of cracked the lid on this a yeah. little bit. I was super honored to even be considered. Yeah. Um, to be a part of this of this team. So I'm I'm really excited about this opportunity to grow my own knowledge base cool. around. The food, the nutrition, it's, it's a whole package, really. And we talked about that a little bit with regard to, you know, some people that are in the training space yes. are uh, pushing the supplements or pushing this and that. But you've done a lot of work really looking at the product. And, and I believe that whole real foods right. is the foundation. Yeah. And then there's, for people, there's, there's room for a protein powder for when and where they right. need it. Or yeah. collagen or some probiotics. Yeah. It, that stuff's just to fill in the gaps. And, yeah. um, you know, like I said, I'm excited to learn from them. Their yeah. whole model is... They've got quite a facility. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Do you imagine going to work I out know. there? Got to bring you when you go. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's exciting. So it's exciting. That's, I think that's gonna, it's going to be a slow process, <clears throat> a slow learn. Kind of um, give you a framework for your, for your, your practice, so to speak. You know? Absolutely. And it may, it's a great community. I'm really excited to, yeah. to, be, a part of, to be a part of that and to bring... What I learn through them over here, to, over here to H two O, as yeah. well as to be able to like share that with you and right. and all of my my people. Yeah, that's that's, awesome. that's what I'm using that for. Speaking of H two O, what are you running coming up recently? Oh, we yeah, forgot to starting, mention that. And thank you so much. Uh, in January, we're going to be running a four week kind of yep. reset class. We haven't come up with a good name. I may need some I'll brainstorming. Like pivot. We'll call a it a pivot. pivot. Yeah. Uh, four weeks, week one, we are going to touch on sleep. We're going to give a bunch of tools and techniques. It's going to be really interactive. Okay. The goal is that we're, we're kind of like sitting around this table, having a conversation, building community. Okay. So week one is sleep and habits, just mm -hmm. where we started those right. main points. Week two is going to be nutrition. And um, I'm going to really try to dispel down, like you, you were saying, that feeling of drinking from a fire hydrant of information of, am I gluten-free, right. am I dairy-free, yeah. oh, am yeah. I paleo, do I do intermittent right. fasting? Try to really boil that down to having people focus on hydration, protein, and fiber. We're gonna really try to keep that yeah. simple for people. Okay. From there, we're gonna move into movement for week three. 
And then week four is going to be on mindset. That's kind of, I may pick your brain a little bit about we that. We can do that. On yeah. uh, mindset and pulling it all together. Cool. So when, say when that is again? January 24th is our start date. We okay. haven't launched it yet. We're, we're getting ready to do that. So I guess we just, I guess well, we just did that right now. <laughs> yeah, guys, if that's something you're interested in, call here at H2O Fitness in Scarborough. Yep, just we're going to get that up on the this. website. Yep. Okay. And um, we're going to get some flyers out for that. Yep. I'm really excited. I'm, I, my, my hope for that is to have a small group. 12 people is our max that we're going to take okay. for that. I want there to be uh, a cohesive group. I want it I want it to be a conversation. I want people to feel supported and and just to be able to sit around and have a conversation and um, say, like, what's working and what's not working. And Absolutely. for me to have that time to give them some tools. We can start each week kind of recapping on what worked or didn't work the yep. week before and just kind of build some consistency. I've been to different things like that before, and, and my goal is always to pick up one thing. That's, you know, one takeaway that uh, it, that I could sit back after and go, that was worth attending. You know, that's, that's <clears throat> absolutely my hope, and my hope is that people are, um, you know, really, really open to to giving that feedback and yep. telling us what they need more of and need less of. It's the first time we've run something like that here. Yep. A big um, mission of H two O is that educating the community. Yeah. Peace. Absolutely. So that's this is a way for us to, to try well, to cool. branch out. Are you going to do other stuff too? Absolutely. Okay. From cool. there, I think we'll do some nutrition challenges. I, yeah. This is where we're trying to get some traction and, and get yeah. a feel for what people are looking for. Right. So that we can really meet people where they're at. Will you work with someone remotely? Do they have to be in Southern I Maine? I do. That's something yeah. uh, I work with people on Zoom yep. as well. And we're going to be, my, my goal eventually is to really be able to work with some more people virtually so yeah. that they have access to was the one good this. thing that came from COVID. Zoom. Yes, it was <laughs> it was learned how to Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. It's a nice way to do it. It's a nice way that you can you can get access to some some amazing people. Well, you can help and, more people too because if you if you're home and you have three meetings, you're not driving here there oh and everywhere. Oh my gosh, during you know? COVID I was teaching uh, three mornings a week, 8 a.m. to 8.45, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, in my kitchen, <laughs> an exercise class that went on for, I want to say, 16 months. And I, like, my kids would come down in their pajamas, the dog would be barking. We had the greatest group yep. of people. And uh, it was yep. Zoom. We, we would just get on <laughs> and do it. Well, that's cool, and, it, and you put yourself out there, and, and it, it comes back. So, um, speaking of putting yourself out there, so you, I'll let you guys know. I, I, I kind of had to drag Stacy kicking and screaming to do this. This is not her jam. No. <laughs> um, so I appreciate you coming on, and, and you know I, I've said to her in the past. Some of you guys know that you know there might be one or two people that haven't seen me post something on social media recently, but. I get after Stacy. I'm like, put your stuff out there, you know, and that's how you get clients. And she's like, I don't, I don't know. I, I said, just do it. So she's recently started doing it. Um, I literally but, do it and push the button and turn my head away. <laughs> <laughs> but talk, talk a little bit about your reservations around that and maybe why. What are my reservations around that? That's such a good question. First of all, it's scary. Yep. Um, it's an it's intimidating. Be, yeah. It's I am really truly an ordinary person who just wants to help people feel really good in their skin. Yeah. And I want people to feel motivated and encouraged. And my biggest fear is that this is a like, oh my God, look at me, or right. that um and not what I've done it's like is, it's totally insecurity. Right. That's what it is. It's, yeah, and, I'm, and I say, dude, you're badass. You can do a, what do they call that? A muscle up or whatever. Or she's doing like I don't know, pull ups with a with a weighted vest <laughs> on or throwing iron around. It's just cool, you know. So my, from my perspective, I'm like, if somebody's gonna, I'm not gonna go get nutrition advice from some guy that's 400 pounds. I want <laughs> I want to go to somebody that's that does that in the morning. Uh, that has a cup of coffee and goes and, and throws some iron around, it can walk the walk. And it's, you walk the walk. Okay. Thank there's, you there's for that, saying that. Yeah. I appreciate that yeah. more than you yeah. know. Um, and I just, I do, I just want all of these, especially, I love working with that like 40 to 60 year old group of women who yep. hadn't really moved or exercised before. And I just want them to know what's possible. Right. Like I am not really, I am a, 
a single mom. I have two kids. I have two jobs. I have a, a dog and the laundry is oozing. And I, <laughs> I, I just want people to know that you could feel really good in your skin and, and feel strong. And right. it's kind of empowering to be able to like out pull up your kids. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if they'll still probably watch this. <laughs> and at the same time, it's really intimidating for me to to put that out there. It feels yeah. it's it's totally terrifying. Yeah, it's a good thing, and it, and a lot of people, um, and I've been through that a little bit where people like I write a blog or something. Somebody had come up to me and say, "Hey, I read your blog." I'm like, "Really? I'm like, yeah, keep doing that. I like that." So you get something like that, and it's you know you get. I had one guy bash me online last week on my blog. It was kind of funny, but I'm like, hey, you read it. Um, that's the only time that's I've had it. That's such, any I need this training. I'm gonna, this is the <laughs> yeah. mindset training yeah, I need you from just, you. You know, it's getting like, you just get to a point where you just don't care because the number of people that you can help far outweigh somebody that might go, oh, there's Turner posting a picture of his sneakers again. Or, yeah. You know, or, it's oh, a, yeah, he's over the Foley's, whatever, you know. That's a really great way to look yeah. at it because that's my, that is my goal. This is my passion. Like, I feel like this isn't separate. When I when I get that insecurity feeling sometimes, especially around the, the posting that the yeah. stuff like that, this feels not different from it's just part of my life. Like right. my partner will say, This isn't separate from anything that you do. Like it right. shouldn't be hard to post something because you're actually going to the gym. Just right. get with the crew and have someone take a picture and maybe it will maybe that's the thing that will make like my next door neighbor or my my friend or someone who was a little bit nervous be like a branch yeah, to be like he's doing it yeah. i can do yeah. it too. i sure can do it too then. i had somebody say to me uh, last week i was talking about you and we were going to do this and she said it was a, a female she said she's just in such great shape if she wasn't so nice i'd hate her <laughs> <laughs> so it's yeah. the more the merrier like yeah, we want to exactly. build we want our people moving and strong and Women need to be strong. It's yeah. it's a saving grace as we kind of start it's to empowering. age. It's empowering. It's you empowering. Know? It's good for your brain. It's good for your bones. It's your muscles. Everything. It yeah. really helps us to live a much better quality life. Yeah. And as we forge ahead here. Right. I mean, it, guys, I, Stacey, she makes kombucha. She makes <laughs> yeah. bone broth. I was over the other day and, and your son was giving you a hard time about... Making bone broth. Yeah, making stinks, the house stinking up. <laughs> she does not care. You no. know what I mean? So, get back to nutrition though. Like, is there a one size fits all, or do you have to like talk talk about if you if you meet with somebody, how does that go? Um, you know, they come in. Do you do a, a initial eval, and you know, how does that whole process yeah, work? Yeah, I, I think that it is it is individual to a point. Yeah. Um, I love to sit down with people and hear what they're doing, what's working, what's not working, yep. what their goals are, where they want to go with it. Um, like you were saying about the weighing yourself every day, I, I often have people start to write down mm -hmm. just what they're doing currently without making any changes so we can start to get a sense of... You have to do that and not lie? You have to do that and not lie. People right. often, there's some, what is it, the Hawthorne effect? There's, a, there's something that automatically, people clean it up right off the bat. Um, and then I, you know, we start to just make, it's got to be small. It's got to be doable. It right. has to, yeah. the whole radical thing just, it doesn't work long term. Right. And I'm looking for people to make small changes that are sustainable. You know, you, you fall off one day. You just you just yeah. get back on the bike the next day. It's right. this doesn't have to be all or nothing. It's this is a quote I heard. It's not about maybe you said it. It was uh, or posted it. It's not about what you eat between <laughs> that Christmas right. and Thanksgiving and Christmas. It's about, about what you eat between Christmas and Thanksgiving. Right. Right? It's like the other fifty one weeks of yeah. the year. You know, fifty exactly. weeks of the year. That's and that yeah. is absolutely my philosophy yeah. on this. You do, we do have to take a look at what you're eating for macros as right. well. I mean, that's kind of the second step in yeah. this is to start to kind of take a look at your total daily energy expenditure. Right. We have equations we can figure out your basal metabolic rate um, and start to plug in some macros mm -hmm. that'll help people to figure out ways to start to meet that. That's when people start to see the results. It's yeah. bringing some awareness to that day. I think that's cool too. If you, if you're working with somebody, they they do start to see some results. All of a sudden, 
the foot goes on the gas and that's, and right. that's really when it starts to be cool you know give, give and some putting high the in. parts together as well so we kind of get that nutrition piece mm -hmm. dialed in start to add a little bit of strength training in some like you're saying kind of even just steps in yeah you know giving people a step target right you start to get those each of those little pieces put together and then that's that's when the magic happens. People really do start to see results then. You mentioned working with women. Do you work with men? I do work with okay. men. I do. Sure. It seems that H2O right now, the majority of my clients, working with a couple of men here right now, um, the majority seems to be women, but we are always telling you, we are looking to Gotta increase get that over here for <laughs> sure. So I was doing, because I always try to be a little bit prepared for these. Okay. I was looking at obesity yes. rates in, in America. Would you believe that the United States, and I can't quote, I'm not going to quote a source here, I, but it was on the interwebs. Um, the United States ranks 12th in the world at 36% obese. Yes. Vietnam is the lowest at 2.1%. We're a very um, wealthy country. We have access to so many yeah. cheap, quick, easy calories. A third of the country is obese. Yes. And by the way, if you've ever done the, the uh, what was that, Nintendo Wii, they tell you you're obese even when you're in shape, but um, it, obese if you def is overweight, and it's like it, it, you know you have a lot of visceral fat, you yes. fat around your organs, right? Yeah, that's right. And so right now, like I'm obese by you know by their definition, mm -hmm. um, and people will say to me, "Well, you're not you're not fat, you're fine." I'm like, mm, I don't really want to take my shirt off at the beach yet. Okay, you know, so maybe I you know. Need to do some work on my diet. So, um, what's your thoughts on that? I mean, how do we? How do you take? If you could control that in this country, what would you change? And what would you tell people? Like Jesus, I, mean, I would tell people just to start. Yeah. That it's just that simple. If you don't have a gym membership, start doing air squats. Yeah. If your knees don't take that, get out and take a walk. Yeah. Start eating a little bit less. Start drinking a little bit more water. Focus on putting a little bit more fruit and vegetable on your plate. That should be the majority of that plate yeah. with a good por portion, portion of protein and some healthy carbohydrates. Most most Americans are really sedentary. You know what gets me is portion control. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm like, oh, I, I ate, you know, uh, butternut squash, chicken, and rice, but the whole plate was mounded with everything, you know, and I'm like, I didn't really need all that. It's so funny. A friend of mine today who is an amazing athlete, an amazing cook, sent me a photo and said, how many calories do you think is in this salad? I swear this happened 30 minutes before I got here. Yep. And she's tracking macros right now. And she hasn't really done it before. She said she tallied up the salad. It was 890 calories. Now, I think it was like a light bulb. I think if I had given anyone that picture and said, here's this beautiful salad, it was kale, it was vegetables, it had some walnuts, it had some goat cheese, mm -hmm. um, yeah, it had a half of an avocado for the good healthy fats, go, boop, an boop, olive boop, oil boop, vinaigrette, boop, 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 boop. and she yeah. said she plugged it in and she couldn't believe it was almost 900. You want to be shocked? Go to Applebee's and order a chicken Caesar salad or something like that. When they get done putting the, the dressing on it, it's 2,000 calories. Right. So it's a I salad. Think, that's right. I just you know? think there's having some awareness yeah. around this. And for the most part, our portions are huge. Mm -hmm. We eat too much. Yep. We don't move enough. You know, you, you wake up and you roll downstairs and you get in the car. You yep. drive to the office. You sit in your chair for the day and you drive back home and you sit on the couch. And right. it's you're not actually burning as many calories as you think you are. Right. And you're eating, for most part, more calories than you believe that you're eating in the day, too. Yeah. Do you think that these, these watches are accurate? Okay. I know? just took a class. I just wrapped up a class with um, Lane Norton. Yep. I'm going to have to go back because I'm not going to be able to. He's my source. I yep. want to say he said it was upwards of 90% not accurate. The, the, like Apple the Watch. The Apple Watch yeah. was what he used as an example. Yeah, it's crazy. Which was I'll, staggering. I'm going to go back and check that, yeah. actually. It was a staggering number. Yeah. Because you're like, oh, well, 750 calories. Boom, I'm good. You know, I just... That's, created a deficit I'm good for the day a really so. interesting piece that I learned from that class app was that you have this like total daily energy expenditure that's your total right. calories your basal metabolic rate is like 60% of that that's just what you're burning just to walk the face of the earth sitting in a chair breathing basically yeah. and that number 
60%. So you want to keep that number up. From yep. there, you have this like a thermal tap, your effect of just eating food, mm -hmm. consuming food, you, you burn some calories. From there, it's neat, which is just your, if you're squirmy, you burn a little bit more. <clears throat> yep. But all of that is about 90%. And then that exercise activity is such a small percentage that people really? people don't really realize, unless you're training for Ironman. We're yeah. just talking about really like the, the general general population, yeah. that, that vast majority of, that statistic of yeah. the obese population. Yeah. So it is really about consuming good food. We want to keep that that basal metabolic rate up. We, I want you to be burning as many calories as possible at rests. Right. So we want to put muscle on your body. We want to make that body really a, a really efficient machine. Yeah. Burn. You'll burn have more calories. energy also to, so it's, do you know, things. you'll yeah. have more energy to do things. And all of that is really, um, you know, has a big snowball effect. So this stuff's your passion. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. It's hard to work in, in a career doing something else, but that's kind of neat too, the other stuff that you do. It is. You know? That um, fills my introvert bucket 100%. Yeah, screwing in. Put the maybe, that, in. maybe that's my social media issue, is that I am an introvert who sometimes has to extrovert, and that's doing a really hard thing that's for me. That's scary. <laughs> told her I said yeah, I'm gonna shove you off the cliff on Tuesday put you on the podcast I so. said to the kids before I left okay I tell you guys you could do really hard things I'm gonna go do a really hard thing right now <laughs> it's good it's good for us it is good um, and I that's remember, part yeah, of all of this exactly. is that sometimes we have to break out of our comfort zone a little bit try things um, the diet yeah. the nutrition I think when that gets on track that that boosts your confidence you're like yeah, actually I, I I saw you the other day say oh there was no 30 pound weight I'm gonna grab the 35 and I right. was like <laughs> was that's awesome go point. get them I mean yeah that's, and they went up they went up and you did it yeah I stood there for a minute too I'm like oh man somebody's got the 30s I'm like I grabbed onto the 35s and this guy looked at me I put him back down I'm like eh, you know what screw it grab them I go I don't know if they're going to go or not. They went, you know. So now I lift 35. Now, see, that, we don't was, go your, back. that was your yeah. step. That's right. Yeah. So I don't know if I could ask you or not. Are you taking new clients? Taking new clients. Okay. Um, just check in go? over here at H2O. Okay. You can either go in through the website here uh, or call Rachel right at the front desk okay. and we'll, she can we'll, help you out. We'll put some information in the, in the comments and link and whatever. That would be um, great. I'm accessible yeah. by email also okay. at stacy at h2ofitco.com. If you don't have that, you can, yep. again, come right through the website here and reach me. Yeah, perfect. Um, we're looking to grow everything over here. Yeah. We're um, we're really excited about it. Uh, this has been cool, and, and I, I, I love Aaron, and, and uh, I always talk about this place. If you guys post something, I try to share it uh, just so more people can, can find out That's about That's the goal. It, you know? The goal is to increase the amount of people who are... Who are kind of living their best life and yeah. moving together and it seems like it's the importance of that has come up since COVID. Would you agree? Like people are like, all right, I got no time for that. I need, I need to get healthy. Yeah, you I know? think I, I. Well, I think there was people put on all that weight. It seemed one of two ways. It was either yeah. the people who took COVID and sort of knocked it out of the park with right. the with the Peloton and the home online yeah. stuff, or the people who kind of veered in the opposite the direction and with fell the COVID off. forty. On. <laughs> COVID forty. <laughs> But laugh, there's but. there's magic in moving together, as you and I both know. Like, yeah. we've you take that bike ride, you train with people, you build up that community, and it and it does make you work harder. It does make right. you support the other person. You know, Aaron and I've raced together. We've raced together. Yeah. And it's it's that encouraging that other person, right. like Aaron's saying to me, "Pick it up, let's go." Yeah, let's go. You, you know, we've got to finish me and this. Yelling at me. Right. We've got to finish this. <laughs> Right. together and then there's like you know you're you're elated your endorphins are running your brain everything it feels great and yeah. it's a wonderful lifestyle and you don't have to be out doing iron man or, no. or uh, crazy like that it could be something as simple as getting a hold of your neighbor and going for a walk you know three times a week 30 minutes or whatever just change change something add a few different things here and there i find that you know there's been a lot of talk recently about new year's resolutions you know and I, I don't think i really have any no, I, we uh, were just you know. talking about that and i was thinking my new year's resolution is to stay consistent keep doing not doing. get injured yeah. keep trying to make pretty good choices along yeah. the way most of the time and um 
I heard a guy, I don't know what podcast it was today, I was listening to, but new, create some New Year's habits. That's like, it. hey, this is a new habit. I'm going to... I'm going to get up 10 minutes sooner. I'm going to get up a half hour. I'm going to, I'm going to go to bed. To, I guess I do have resolutions. Yes. I'm going to go to bed at 8 o'clock. Or at least be winding down, not be like, oh, it's 10.30. Scrolling through Instagram or whatever, seeing That's who's right. doing what. So um, this has been great. Thank um, you thank so you. much for Feel better? I do feel better. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I just yeah. I just want to bring people along. I just want to share this. I love learning. I love taking classes. I'm really elated about the first form opportunity yeah. to see how many more people I can impact. Would you come back on when you get that? Oh my gosh, online? I would be. It sounds like that's quite honored. a lot of education. So it's take you a little while to get through it. And I would. I'm excited yeah. to share what I learn with with people on that front. It's they're yeah. really got some cutting edge, exciting. Push the boundaries a little bit, get out of your comfort zone a little bit. Yep. But my goal with that is to is to share that with cool. as many people as I can, and and just kind of kind of grow this this group of healthy people who want to do really really cool stuff. We're both kind of community builders. I think that's probably why we get along so well. I, you know? So it's um, more fun with it's more fun with a group to do it. Stacy Simino, guys. Um, Thank you. Yeah, it's been fun. We're here, again, we're here at H2O Fitness in Scarborough. Um, Aaron Cook McAllister, thank you very much for letting us um, set up camp here again. <laughs> yes. Uh, we're like the podcast hobos. We, gotta, <laughs> we go over to Foley's, we're over at Aaron's, you know. we got a couple other places we'll go to, but thank you very much. Guys, thanks for tuning in. It's been the Ordinary People Doing Extraordinary Things podcast. Um, I'm excited about doing a lot of things, new things lately. I'm stepping back into the coaching space. If you haven't heard that, look me up. If you're struggling with something, I'd love to chat with you. Uh, this podcast is also sponsored by our contracting company, Turner Builders. Uh, we do kitchens, baths, um, additions, uh, renovations, basements, decks, you name it. Look us up, Turner Builders online. So I want to thank Mitchell Powers from Powers Promotions who sits behind that camera <laughs> and laughs at my jokes and, uh, and makes us look good. So guys, thanks a lot. It's been a, it's been a lot of fun. Um, take care.